Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this quick, simple and easy to make bear. For this tutorial you're going to need cream plush yarn, a tiny bit of black for the embroidery of the nose. I'm going to be working this with a 5.5mm crochet hook. In addition to this you're going to need 10mm security eyes, stitch marker, darning needle, pair of scissors and some fibre fill. So make sure you've got all of those components. Now before we start, if you enjoy watching my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. To start off with the legs and for this, let's go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. And chain two, one, two. From here, you're going to skip your first chain and work eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work eight all together. Here's my last one, number eight. And once you have your eight single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This should bring your stitches nice and close together and you're going to start working in a spiral. So we're going to slip our hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work your single crochet off round two. So that's my first stitch of round two. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. From here you're going to be working a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. That's one. So once you have your eight single crochets, this completes your one round. So this is round two. We're going to be following the same method and work two more rounds of just single crochet. So I'm going to work my first single crochet, put my stitch marker back in place and follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So go ahead, work two rounds of just single crochet and meet me back here. After three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be eight. We're going to finish with this leg by working a slip stitch in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull this out of this stitch and pull this down. Now this finishes one leg. We're going to follow the same instructions to make another one of these, but this time you won't be snipping it off or working a slip stitch. So go ahead, work the same amount of rounds to make another one of these, keep the yarn attached and meet me back here. I've now finished working the second leg as well. Now we're going to connect the two of these together with a chain one. So we're going to work a chain one and connect this just at the same stitch where we finished off. Or you can do it anywhere else, it doesn't really matter, but I find it's easier to count the stitches like this. So work a slip stitch connecting two of the legs together. And from here to start the next round, you're going to chain one, going back into that same stitch to work your first single crochet. And we're going to be working eight single crochets around your first leg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move the tail end out of the way. Stuff it back into the leg. And we're going to be working a single crochet in this chain one. From here you're going to work eight single crochets around the second leg as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my last one, number eight. And now we're back near our chain one space and we're going to be working another single crochet from this side. So 
So we're going to be working at the back of the previous stitches. So one single crochet to finish this round. So we've got eight single crochets here, eight single crochets here and two in the center, which brings our stitch count to 18. Now we're going to start the next round by slipping our hook in the first single crochet of this round and work your first single crochet here. I'm going to start using our stitch marker from here on. So from here you're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need a total of 18 single crochets in a row. You're going to be following that same method and repeat it five times all together to have five rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead work five rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow the single crochet on with a decrease. To do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. Now starting the next round with two single crochets. That's one, two, Stitch marker back in place. Follow these two single crochets on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now as you can see the space between these stitches is decreasing. So before you continue with this round, take a minute to fill this up with some fibre fill, then complete this round with this combination, two single crochets followed on with a decrease, and then meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count is nine. Now before we continue on to the head, we are going to take a moment and insert a thread one round below where we are currently. So slip your hook around a stitch, isolating, so put any scrap yarn through. So we're going to pull this through just so we know that this is where the neck is and this is where we're going to be stitching the arm later. So from here, we're going to continue working on our next round. And we're going to start off by working two single crochets in a row. That's one and two. Stitch marker back in place. Followed on with an increase. So we're going to have two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. Now we're going to start the next round by working an increase in our first stitch, which means two single crochets in that same stitch. Stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this increase on with an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to have 12 increases in a row, so go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round you're going to need 24 single crochets in a row. Once we've done that we're going to follow the same method four times all together to have four rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of four rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. We're going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's one, two, followed on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And here's a combination for this round, two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of four rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 24. Now before we start the next round we're going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into this head and let's pull this stitch out a little bit so we don't lose it. So the size of the eyes that I'm using is 10 millimeter. We're going to be inserting this in one round below. So this is the round we've just finished with. We're going to be inserting this one round below. To do this you're going to be keeping the eye in line with the legs. 
something like this and we're going to keep about three to four stitches in between so that's one two three and I'm going to insert it in the fourth one now we need to look at the whole body in one go and make sure that it's in line with the legs and my one seems to be I'm going to go ahead and put the backing on And from here we're going to continue working on the next few rounds. So for the next round you're going to be working two single crochets in a row. That's one, two, stitch marker back in place, followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through, all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three, two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with one single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with a decrease, repeat that all the way around. Now as you can see the gap between the stitches is reducing in size, so make sure to fill this head up with some fibre fill after working that round and then meet me back here. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to work our final round to close this gap between the stitches and you're going to be working 6 decreases in a row. So. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. That's our first stitch. And repeat this all the way around until you have six decreases in a row. There's my second. Third. Fourth. fifth and my final one number six and once you've worked your six decreases you will notice that there is still a gap between your stitches at this point you have two options one you work one more decrease and work a slip stitch or you use a darning needle to stitch this gap up I'm going to be showing you the decrease method so I'm just going to work one more decrease to make this gap even smaller and it's so small that we can slip our hook in the opposite direction, opposite stitch, pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that was already on our hook. Now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. And from here we can slip our hook from further away from the head Make it come out from that same stitch, yarn over and pull this in and stuff this tail inside the head like so. And there we go, the body is now complete. Now onto the arms and for this we're going to start off by working a slip knot and chain two, one, two. To start round one, you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here you're going to start working in a spiral again. So locate your first single crochet for your previous round and work a single crochet on top of it. And this is your first single crochet of round two. Stitch marker back in place to identify the start of my round. Now we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So we're going to have six single crochets in total. Here's my fourth, fifth, 
fifth. And my final one, number six. From here, you're going to, let's turn this the right way around first. And we're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. You're going to repeat that same combination one more time. One single crochet, followed on with a decrease. I'll stuff this little tail back inside and this will act as stuffing. As this is a tiny arm, we don't really need any stuffing at all, apart from that. And this brings our stitch count to four. Now going to start the next round. And in this round, we're going to be working a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. So in total, you will have four stitches. So that's my first, second, third, and fourth. And we're going to repeat the same process two more times to have two more rounds of single crochet. So let's do that. One. Two. Three. Four, and last time. One, two, three, and final one, number four. Now to finish off with this arm, you're going to be working two single crochets on top. So slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to go through the back as well. So if I pull these stitches apart, you will see I've gone through the front and the back of these stitches in one go. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop and work a single crochet there. Let's work one more to finish this arm off. Chain one, now we can go ahead and leave a long tail and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down. And that's one of the arms. You're going to follow the same instructions another time to make another one of these. Now onto the ears and for this we're going to start off by working a slip knot and chain two. One, two. Now from here you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's one, two, three, four, Five, and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And once you've done that, you're going to work a slip stitch in your first single crochet that we have just worked. Like this. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Flip out of this stitch and secure it in place. Now we're going to take the other tail and the one that was coming out from the center and we're going to give both of these tail ends a little knot in place. And now we can go ahead and stitch this onto the head and we will work this into the head later as well and I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead and work another one of these and meet me back here. Now onto the muzzle and for this let's go ahead and work a slip knot, chain two, Start your first round by working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Hold on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And from here we'll start working in a spiral again. Slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and work and increase there. So that's one single crochet, going back into that same stitch to work another. In this round we will have six increases. That was my first increase. Here's increase number two. Number three. Four. Five. And my final one, six. From here we're going to start our next round. And here we're going to be starting by working a single crochet in our first stitch here. And we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You will need 12 single crochets in a row to finish this round. So that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to now finish off with this muzzle by working a slip stitch in the next stitch. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of the stitch and pull it up to secure it in place. And there we go, we can go ahead and stuff this with some fiber fill before we stitch this onto the face. Now onto the assembly and we're going to start off by attaching the arms onto the body. Now where we added this scrap yarn is where we're going to be attaching this body on. So if you by mistake pull that out or something, you're going to be doing that just where this tighter part is between the head and the body around below that. So that's where we're going to be um, stitching the arm on. So let's take that out, hold the arm in place and before we stitch it we're going to line this up with the leg as well so it needs to be right in the centre of the legs. So once we've done that we're going to pull this out and now I can stitch this on. Catch one stitch on the arm and then one stitch on the body. And we're going to just stitch this all the way to the end. And once we've done that, you're going to slip your needle back in that same stitch, turn the arm upwards and allow the needle to come from the bottom like this. And this is where we're going to secure it in place. Going to isolate one little stitch like this and pull your thread through and you will see there is a, a, a loop that you've created. You're going to slip your needle back inside that loop and now we're going to pull this down. This will create a knot in place. And once this is done you're going to slip the needle back into that same stitch Decided to go through some fibre fill and come out from another side of the body. And we can now go ahead and snip this off. And there we go, the arm is now attached. Using the same method, go ahead and attach the other arm on as well. Arms are now on, moving on to the ears. And for this, we're going to be positioning the ears just between round two and round three. So here's round one, there's round two, so round two and three, so these stitches in between. So I'm going to isolate one stitch with my needle and slip this through. And I'm going to take the other bit of yarn that we had coming from the back, I'm going to give those two bits a little knot in place, like this, give it a double knot to make it nice and secure. And from here, using your needle, you can secure it even further. So catch the stitch on the head and pull 
and catch the stitch on the ear and stitch it down. And once you're happy with it, you've secured it in place. I'm going to give this bit of yarn another little knot in place. And from here, you can take your hook, slip it from further away from the head, and make it come out from that same stitch where we've just worked our, where we've just attached the ear. Going to loop it onto the hook, and we're going to pull these two strands in. You can go ahead and slip this from here, and pull it in all the way, and release it inside the body. And there we go, that's one of the ears attached. Follow the same instructions to attach the other ear on as well. Ears are now on, let's move on to the muzzle. We're going to stuff this lightly with some fiber fill. Hold it in the center of the face like so. And make sure that the stitch that you finish with is at the base. And from here, we're going to catch a stitch on the face. and then catch the stitch on the muzzle and from here we're just going to make your, make your way all the way around just this way so catch one stitch and then on the muzzle as well make your way all the way around And once you made your way all the way around, you're going to secure this thread in place by isolating one stitch and you're going to create a loop with your thread, slip your needle through it and you're going to pull this down and this will create a knot in place. Slip this into the same space there, the same stitch, make it go through some fibre fill and make it come out from another side of the head. And we're just going to go ahead and snip this off. And give this a little squeeze as well so it retains its shape. Now that muzzle is now attached. And I'm going to take some black yarn and create a little tiny nose on this muzzle. So we're going to be, so this is the center of the muzzle. We're going to be making this little tiny nose above the center. So round one, so just above round two, we're going to slip it from one side, isolate around two stitches in between and make it come out from another side. And from here, I'm going to just repeat the same process a couple more times. So slip it back into that same stitch and repeat it and more make sure to make these strands sit side by side each time now from here you're going to tie these two strands together in a knot so let's go ahead and snip the other long bit off first and we're going to just tie a knot in place and we're going to do that 
making sure that the knot is on the side where the stitch is, not in the center. And let's tie the one more knot. So we've got two knots in place. I can use this darning needle to slip the needle back into that same stitch, make it go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the head. Let's go ahead and snip this off. Give it a little squeeze and remove any bits that might be left behind. And let's do the same with the other one as well. And we can always use our darning needle to do this. So guide the hook to come out from. So insert it from further away from the face. Guide it to come out from that same stitch where we've just finished. Loop this yarn onto your hook and pull this in into the muzzle. And there we go. Either we can just leave it in there or if it comes out, we can snip that off. And there's the nose for this little bear. From here, we're going to add a little tail on the back of this bear. So we're going to go one round above where the legs are, just here. So I'm going to isolate one single stitch and attach the yarn onto it by pulling it in through around that stitch give it a little knot in place i'm going to slip my hook from further away and pull this little bit of yarn in and now from here isolate that stitch again pull up a loop and from here we're going to be making a puff stitch to do this you're going to first of all chain two and you're going to yarn over, go around that same stitch, pull up a loop, put this strand up so it's the same length as the chain two, yarn over, go around that same stitch again, pull up a loop, and pull it so it's the same size as the other strands. Let's repeat that one more time. Yarn over, go around that same stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up so it's the same size now yarn over, pull through all of these strands that you have on your hook and chain one. Pull this down so this will tighten the top part of this, these stitches. Now this is where we've made the puff stitch. We are going to work a slip stitch in the round above, like this. Pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through the loop that's already on your hook. I can now go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Slip the hook from further away, make it come out from that same stitch, yarn over with this same yarn and pull this strand in, make it come out from another side of the body and we can now go ahead and snip this off. And that makes the tail of this little bear. And that completes our tiny little bear. We're now going to add our accessory. So I'm opting for this little ribbon. So let's tie that around the neck of this bear. You can opt for a scarf, you can opt for a flower, whatever you wish for. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and snip them, the tail ends to the same length. And there we go. Our bear is now complete. If you enjoyed making this bear with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.